show you this um, PHORP meter. I'm, I'm reading the uh, ORP basically just from the air and as you can see it's got a positive like between 203 or between 200 and 400 or whatever. Now um, most clothing when you know will we'll have a similar uh, positive uh, reading here uh, let's see this is a cotton shirt let me just touch the ORP with it and um, it looks like the cotton shirt is up there at about 236 or close to what the air is and maybe a little bit less, less oxidizing than the air you know maybe by a hundred points or something I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I'm going to show you what the uh, uh, Neffel glove does. And when you touch that to the Neffel glove, and it's, it's, it's like up at a, a negative 900 something. That's, I hope you can see that because that's, that's just a lot of anti-oxidizing. <laughs> So um, now this Neffel glove will fluctuate. It it will um, become maybe positive or maybe not as negative. It's it's still pretty negative even after a while. Oops, my machine is going a little bad. But uh, it uh, it's it's quite negative. Um, and but it it gets even more so negative if you rub it a little bit. So if you just rub it just a tad and then you know touch it to it, it will get um, well supposedly it'll get more negative maybe 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 not. So that might have uh, let me rub it on my clothing here. All right, let's see if that yeah, yeah that really whoops. It went up past uh, th a negative thousand, and my, I guess my machine isn't going to go past a negative a thousand. So, uh, but you know that's pretty cool. Uh, you're, you're, you know, the they say that this material attracts negative ions from the air, and it honestly does. And you can measure it just with an ORP meter that we use for uh, testing ionized water.